welcome back to Rhombus Gaming. It's been a while, but we're now on to episode 3, where we're going to be taking on the Etonian Archers and the Lizardman Saurus Warriors. Now when I started with these, I did try to use the contrast paints, but what I found is they look a little bit washed out, um, and I didn't quite like the way the color was popping, so I've gone back to using the basic acrylic paints here. And I do think they give a much more vibrant look. You can have a look at the comparison here, and I think they just they stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to be taking this approach with the rest of them. I'm going ahead and using the yellow and blue color scheme that we had with the knight as well. So I'm going to keep that consistent and kind of have the pack of archers represent the peasants that are serving the knight that we've painted already. And in keeping in spirit with revisiting the uh, childhood experience, I've also had my assistant take on the role of painting the Lizardman Saurus, and I'm going to let him take it over from here. Hello. For a base coat, I'm going to do a light gray. You could call it light blue, light gray, whatever you want. And I'm just going to do it over the scales and the skin and the arms. I'm basically trying to put it over the whole body except for like the tummy and the leather and the equipment. Now I'm going to put some egg, um some Dragon off nightshade on the scales and like the back. I'm trying to get it in the cracks, not like a lot. Make sure that you don't like um put it on like a palette. Make sure you just put it straight onto the model because it's a bit liquidy already. And you don't want it to be more liquidy if you add water. So so I'm just trying to do it over all the cracks. Now I'm going to do some more light gray so that the effect goes back, but the egg, but the egg racks, like the um, dark shade oil, is still there. And I'm also gonna like brush it along the paper towel, so it's like a um, uh, darker effect. Now I'm gonna dry brush some green onto the onto the scales, tummy, and arms. I'm doing this so that there's like more layers like i'm doing like multiple layers so like imagine like you do like um a light gray then a green then a blue kind of like you're coloring a piece of paper just your color it's just your coloring on top and i'm gonna rotate the model around so that i can see the different cracks like See, I'm rotating the model around so I can paint inside the tummy. For the arms, I can just turn it around. So I can turn it around to get different spots. Now I'm going to do the tongue with some orc blood. And thanks for listening to me. Now, now I'm going to pass it back to my basically boss. And that was the Lizardmen Saurus Warriors with my trusty assistant. Uh, really great techniques being used there, a lot more than I could have done when I first opened the box when I was around that age, so really cool to see. In the meantime, with the Bowman, we are starting to add some of the final details around things like the arrow fletching, skin, bow, leather pouches, before applying some of our oils to deepen the recesses on the model. After that, I'm actually going to be dry brushing back on some of the brighter colors to bring out some of the highlights on things like the tunic as well as the leggings to make those colors return to their brighter shades. And in addition to the dry brushing highlighting, I'm also going to be going back over this afterwards with secondary colors using a finer brush as well as adding some of the details on things like the buttons on the tunic. And of course, as always, adding our green base to finish things off. I will get to flocking at some point, but we do have a lot of models to get through. Uh, so we do have a bit of a work in progress to show you, knowing that we still have a lot of work ahead of us with a number of these archers and Saurus Warriors to finish before we can get these to the tabletop. <laughs> 